Breaking news! Truckers will now be paid of their mandatory sleepovers in their trucks? In a recent ruling by the First Circuit Court of Appeals, it was decreed that time spent by truck drivers in the sleeper berth beyond eight hours is compensable under the Fair Labor Standards Act, or FLSA. This landmark ruling came as a result of a case involving CRST Expedited and CRST International, two major players in the trucking industry known for their extensive use of the team driving model. The case originated when Juan Carlos Montoya and other former CRST trainee drivers sued the company, alleging that CRST's compensation policies violated the FLSA. The key issue was whether time spent in the sleeper berth should be considered on-duty time, thus subject to compensation. The court ruled in favor of the drivers, stating that employees' time spent in the sleeper berth that exceeds eight hours per day is indeed compensable work under the FLSA. CRST's team-based driver training program, an uncommon approach in the industry, employs a model where two drivers alternate driving and resting in the vehicle's sleeper berth. This system enables CRST to keep its trucks in near-continuous motion while adhering to Department of Transportation regulations on driving time limits. While in the sleeper berth, drivers have limited freedom to engage in personal activities such as sleeping, preparing food, browsing the internet, reading and watching on TV. However, the court ruled that this does not negate the fact that birth time predominantly benefits the employer, given the driver's confinement in a small, moving space with limited amenities. CRST argued that because the DOT regulations exclude sleeper birth time from on-duty time, it should not be considered compensable work under the FLSA. However, the court rejected this argument, stating that the DOT regulations do not address worker compensation and using them to guide payment issues would be misplaced. The ruling reaffirms the principle that time spent predominantly for the employer's benefit must be compensated under the FLSA. It clarifies that the ability to engage in some leisure activities does not render an employee's time as solely for their own benefit especially when confined to a restrictive space for the employer's purposes. The implications of this ruling are significant for the trucking industry. Trucking companies will now need to ensure that they comply with both DOT regulations and FLSA requirements, particularly regarding compensation for sleeper berth time. This may lead to adjustments in pay structures and operational practices within the industry. It's worth noting that this ruling applies to team drivers and their sleeper berth time and does not directly impact solo drivers. However, it sets a precedent that could influence future cases and interpretations of the FLSA within the trucking industry. On the other hand, the court's ruling sheds light on the intricate relationship between DOT regulations and FLSA requirements. While DOT regulations primarily focus on safety measures and driving hour limits, the FLSA is concerned with ensuring fair compensation for workers. The court's decision clarifies that while DOT regulations may dictate certain aspects of a driver's schedule, they do not exempt employers from providing fair compensation for all hours worked. In applying the predominant benefit test, the court emphasized that the key factor is whether the time spent in the sleeper berth primarily benefits the employer. Factors such as the physical location of the employee, the ability to engage in personal activities, and the burden on the employee are considered in determining the predominant benefit. The court's ruling also highlighted the importance of recognizing the limitations faced by drivers while in the sleeper berth. Despite being able to engage in some leisure activities, drivers are confined to a small, noisy space, often subjected to engine and road noise, which significantly restricts their freedom and comfort. This acknowledgement underscores the employer's responsibility to compensate for time spent under such conditions. Moving forward, the First Circuit Court of Appeals ruling regarding compensable sleeper berth time is a significant development for the trucking industry, signaling a shift towards greater protection of truck drivers' rights and fair compensation practices. Trucking companies must adapt to these changes, prioritizing the well-being and fair treatment of their drivers while continuing to meet the demands of the ever-evolving trucking industry.